So, bottom line, guys, you're very, very welcome today. Um, my name, as Carol said, is Greg. You'll be sick of the size of me by 5 p.m. today, but that's another story. Um, the bottom line is today is your day. So, quite frankly, if I've come up for this day and I have a question, it's criminal to jump in your car or go, jump on the train and go home if you haven't asked it. So there are no stupid questions and um, feel free to engage as much as possible. Quite a lot to get through today. In fact, you know, it's like anything else with these courses, you kind of get excited and start throwing more cool stuff in. But ultimately, I think one of the main purposes of today is in many ways, to help you guys put some sort of a structure behind your social media efforts. So really, how you build a social media strategy, what that would look like, and what kind of cool things can you do. And Carol mentioned the phones earlier on, and quite frankly, um, when you're busy in your garden center, it's extremely difficult to jump back to your PC, wait five minutes for it to turn on, and start planning your social media content. So ultimately, a lot of what we should be doing should happen on these devices. So I want to make sure that we're, we're thinking mobile today and we're discussing what we can do through a mobile device as well as a, a fancy laptop or desktop computer. Two types of trainer or talker or presenter that drives me nuts, guys. Uh, presenter number one is the guy, possibly like I'm danger and danger doing here is the guy that just starts talking at you and you spend between now and co the coffee break thinking in your head who the hell is this joker and where did he come from the other type of trainer presenter that drives me nuts is the guy that wastes the first 30 minutes of a session telling me how, telling you how frigging great he is so i don't want to be either of those people but my name is greg fry i fell into the social media world quite frankly by accident I, I went to set up a business heading into a recession and flung open my doors and realized very quickly that when tumbleweed passed me by that I was in some serious trouble I emptied out my pockets which were of course empty because I have a wife and uh, three kids the wife's got expensive taste in shoes as well, but that's another story. So I realized I was in trouble to try to get my business out there. Uh, what I did is I embraced social media, I would say quite frankly, like a long lost lover with zero budget to get out there. And the reality is um, if people don't know we exist, they can't come and buy off us. And if it wasn't for, particularly for me, it was LinkedIn, um, but if it wasn't for social media in year one, quite frankly, I don't know, I'd be divorced and I don't know where I'd be right now. It's quite a sad story to think of where it could, could have ended up. So for you guys, it's great that Grow More has spent loads of money on their digital marketing efforts. We may not have those budgets. So today we want to figure out how we can box effectively and cleverly with our social media efforts so we get some sort of business return on investment. So that's, that, that's in a nutshell me and where we're at today. Have an agenda for today, right? Let's make sure we're happy with it. This is, this is the, the agenda between now and lunch. It doesn't include the coffee break, which is at 11, which is really important. Um, we're just gonna have a brief social media introduction. We're going to think about what exactly it is we want to achieve from our social media efforts. It amazes me how many businesses I'll talk to, and you guys could even be one of them, where you will say something like, we use Facebook. I'm not sure whether it's working for me. Well, my advice to that person is stop bloody using Facebook. Because unless we've got a plan behind it, there's no point.